The research that I'm doing is to identify genes that are responsible for controlling traits in agricultural crops. Uh, for example, rice, we're trying to Im improve the ability of the rice plant to produce more grain under different uh, stress conditions like that are occurring under climate change, um, things like that. But we're doing it from a complex systems perspective. What we're actually doing together is we're, we're developing um, visualization tools um, that will allow us to look at gene interaction networks, really complex uh, gene interaction patterns of thousands and thousands of genes, but also to take different uh, graphs of genes and align them together and detect the core genes that are responsible for different biological processes. He can implement that in, in code using NVIDIA GPUs. What we are taking is taking a bunch of graphs, they can be one, two, or many, and we are aligning them pairwise to get some conserved graphs that make sense biologically and from an aspect of mathematical models. Well, most of the graph algorithms are a lot of computer intensive algorithms. That's where the GPUs come in. Because we have to do a lot of computation on each pair of nodes or each pair of edges, you need a lot of compute power within a system to do these. And now that we are scaling to multiple nodes or multiple graphs, what we are able to do is align multiple graphs on multiple GPUs and get them in real time. Well, the first algorithm in 2007 used to do it in eight hours, ISO rank N. Nowadays it's 20 minutes, but we can do it within 32 seconds, which is almost real time, near real time. Yeah, so the impact on a, for a basic research perspective is that we can now align graphs very quickly. So I can do experiments on the fly and have terrible experiments and then just toss them and not wait for 12 hours to find out that my experiment was terrible. And so we can speed up the research in, in, in a way that I thought was possible look at this kind of complexity. But again, the purpose of this is to identify genes that are really critical uh, control points for developing traits. So being able to naturally cross the right plants together and be able to produce the, the type of plants that we want to produce the yield that we need or bioenergy that coming out of the plants or whatever the, the co-product is of the plant.